You can I go more am to your left. the most centered. I'm the most you can centered just, person. You can just put in that every on capacity. the table. You can just put that on the table, and we'll still hear you. You don't have to hold it up to your mouth. Okay, <laughs> okay. but I am the it's most. Good. Centered. Like it's good. Like it's a good quality. Like yeah. L- look at me. Look how centered I am. You definitely live on the You're fringe. Slightly off center. Yeah. So what? How slightly? <laughs> Are we talking like three percent, five percent? I could. I, I've got a ruler right here. I'm actually going to measure you. Stay right there. Okay, so on the your left, you are eleven and a half centimeters off the side, and on your right, your you screen's are nine too big, centimeters mate. off the side. If you look hard enough, you'll realize <laughs> the Earth is off off axis, off tilt. The like yeah. your cap, your cap is like off to the side. Yeah, but you um, can't be fully symmetrical. Yeah, well, I've got a prop. I alluded to it earlier. I've got a prop here. Um, last Ooh. week, I may have been a little bit cranky with you, Ben. Um, so. Not going to apologize for that, but I am going to make <laughs> forward steps to be better. Um, I've got this pillow here so that whenever you upset me or you freeze like that, uh, I'm just going to scream into it. So Can we get a minutes. demonstration? Can yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Three minutes late today. That's great. Gave us 10 minutes warning that you were going to be late. So here we go. Can't hear a thing. Oh, I like that. That's just like a short, a short, intense blast of just yeah, I, concentrated and I, anger. Yep, yep. I got a message from my fiance. Is everything okay? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. That was yeah. quick. <laughs> She didn't um, text that. You had that pre-written. <laughs> welcome, welcome to another episode of Just the Tip. I'm your host, Michael. Pre-written, Mike. I'm an AI. Joining me as always, Ben. Work, didn't think you were going to make it tonight. We were just going to go on ahead without you, fully yep. mentally prepared to not have you in this one. Thank you for joining us. It's so nice of you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now I wouldn't miss this for the world, boys. I, Especially uh, now that you're top of the tipping ladder. Yeah, yeah. This is <laughs> this is my time to just ejaculate on you peasants and you're out of arm swing which is great well i'm going back to the gym so i need all the protein i can get matthew how you doing this week i'm doing great i'm officially on holidays yeah so happy splendor week happy splendor week to me it's about I'm, damn time it's about damn, it's about time. damn time um, oh, yeah, but yeah i'm time. i'm uh, i'm extremely i'm still in like work mode i had a busy day and mm. i'm st- i'm still coming down you know and I got this potty, which is fun, but also work in a sense. But I think it'll hit me tomorrow morning, and I'll I'm gonna start tanning my dick. Yeah, oh, fine. dude, it is wear the loosest underwear you own. Just let those boys <laughs> sag. In fact, don't wear underwear at all. Yeah, Here's something off topic. Tightened. What is this? What is that? that what is, is this? a toenail. Show and tell. It's a yeah, toenail, toenail clipper, right? Yeah. What What's the weirdest thing? Like they, these to me seem a bit dirty. But how weird is it to have a bottle open up? Hmm. on your oh yeah on your neck so you've got your basically your toes that close to where something that you put your mouth is it just seemed a bit yeah. odd but you know what <laughs> you i've imagine? used it i use it I'm, i am using it i've used <laughs> you it imagine today if you ask someone like hey do you have a bottle opener and they go yeah and they hand you that and you've got like this <laughs> <in your> hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yes i'll bring it to the next party you feel like you, you hand it to them and yes. a couple little toenails like fall out of the chamber mm. gross what country are um, you Matt, in? Uh, I'm in Nam. Matt, okay. um, yeah. I came I came to you a couple of days with a hypothetical or something for the end of the episode, but I've completely spaced out on what it was. Do you guys remember? No. No? All right, don't, don't worry. I'll bring it back. I'll, oh, I'll look no, at chat. No, like you didn't have don't a hypothetical. We can edit this out. But it was a good idea. The, the idea that we all said that you had a good idea. Oh, yes. Okay, I got it. I remember. Yeah, I got it. 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 Bring it back later. Bring it back later. Yeah, we'll bring it back. Uh, Stay tuned. Did we all get perfect rounds this week? How good is that as, as a hook, yeah. right? Like, to, we should just do that more often, just to hook people. Be like, yo, just do it. We're tipping thing. masters. Did we all tip? We, I definitely feel like we had different tips last week. Like, we weren't all on the same page. I would remember that. Yeah, Someone flipped. There, w- there were some flips. Hey, I got, I got an issue with the tipping because um, we didn't Brooke get ten should points. be two behind me. Brooke should be yeah. two behind me. And why is she three behind me? Where did I get it, an extra one it, on her? It, it wasn't a full round. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, there was three teams on a bye. So well, that's bullshit. If you get what a perfect round, you should still get extra two points anyway. Also, I noticed this weekend uh, when the Titans are versing the Cowboys in the W, uh, Gates are at... Uh, 12 and the game starts at 10 past 12 or something like that like literally wow. the gates open and the game is 10 minutes after like you're wow. barely going to have time to get your seat that seems like an i was going to say like how are you going to get your beers and your soggy chips 
That's exactly right. No, oh, so mm. the chips are not soggy. They're so crisp. They're even so too crispy. crispy. They cut, really, they cut my mouth. Come. They're so crisp. <laughs> <laughs> they've come a long way. The old, uh, yeah. the old sporting event foods. I remember mm. back in the day, you'd be lucky to get a fucking half-eaten, cold, wet sa- uh, Dagwood dog. Um, they've come a long way. So have the prices. The prices are definitely much in line um, yeah. with what you would expect at a stadium. Hey. Also, like, why are these stadiums charging so much for your food, for your beers, for your entry and stuff? Like, it used to be a family day. You could bring your kids out, your wife, go have a game of footy, eat some fucking, have a couple beers, eat some food, and mm-hmm. you, you'd you probably get out of it for under 100 bucks for the family. Now you, you wouldn't, you'd be lucky to get out of it for under 300. Easy, yeah, 400. I can explain that. Mm, Matt. Inflation. That's true. Yeah. You sure know you what's noticed, also inflated? But... Hex. Hex can fuck off. Have you got that problem too? No, no I don't. You're uneducated don't. fuck. Yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine. I don't, Matt, yeah. Do you have a hex there? Oh, oh, yeah. It's just mounting and mounting and mounting. I don't think I'll ever pay it off. Oh, dude. Mine's gone up from like 28 to 42. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I had to. I had a fucking really? meltdown. Really? That's a lot. It's I would have a meltdown too. Meltdown. Holy shit. Yeah. Was it worth anyway, it? Uh, let's let's not get me. No, it's not. Let's, let's not get me on that track. Of, you got you got a little bit of pussy when you're at uni, at uni though, right? This is a very angry. <laughs> you got to scratch your pussy. Goes down. Yeah, 40 40 worth, I'm tucking a UE. This is my last <laughs> roundabout in the next like five All kilometers. Right. So I'm turning um, around, boys. So. Shout out to these cunts who didn't get a perfect round. Uh, Axel, suck a dick. Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Mitch. 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 Yeah, ah, Mitch took the shark. Suck fucked. a fucking dick. No, I suck a dick. Um, Lachlan, suck a dick. Uh, <laughs> also, Harry. Look, maybe just put the tip in for this one, Harry, because the Titans Episode were absolutely fuck fucking rog. Uh, the t- sorry, the Titans were absolutely fucking robbed. Uh, Matt, do you have anything to say about this? Have you seen the footage? In of what in particular? Uh, the Eels player being offside when Tanner Boyd went to kick a field goal. He's offside oh. by like a metre. Um, and the Titans were penalised by that. The same thing the week Last before. Week, week Alec before. was a metre off, like not a metre offside, but he was offside. So that team won the game. And is, that, getting... is that where they, they charged down Tanner Boyd's kick? I believe so, yes. Okay. No, I haven't seen that. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Listen, Mike... You're you and Harry. You're young Titans fans. Yeah, you're we don't get Titans those calls. Fans. You get out. You get outraged by things like this. Mm. You know, you're you're mm. living de- week to week. I'm I'm living decade to decade. Like yeah. I, this this things happened. I'm like Wayne Bennett. I'm just like, well, that's footy. That's yeah. why <laughs> Matt wears a silk shirt. Harry. Matt's um, silk shirt is directly related to his long term focus. It's it's a you like that flower shirt, that plant shirt, whatever you got. That's like thirty percent roses. Of the it's black roses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Matt, are you saying like Harry and I are like Jojen and Mira Reed, and you are the three eyed raven? Is that sort of what you're saying? Basically, yeah. yes. Yeah. Like, no, it doesn't. No, it's not that you're not wrong. All right. Yeah. If if he's offside, he's offside. It should have been the penalty. But you're just not sometimes, right yet. Sometimes let's say sometimes the bounce of the ball goes your way. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it doesn't. And yeah. uh, at the end of the day, everything, it's, you get what you deserve in the end. Yeah. And, and being a rooster it, supporter, try, I, I, try supporting the most penalized team in the league. Try I'll interrupting someone see. while they're speaking. <laughs> I do it. He speaks too long. <laughs> He's been gone for like a second. He hasn't spoken yet. <clears throat> Am I good to speak, Ben? Am I good? Yeah, Ben. Permission. All I was going to say is the Titans aren't playing well enough to make finals. So I don't think they deserve to be there. Yeah, that's fair. Did, speaking of, um, did you see that the KO admin forgot to switch his accounts and was exposed as an Eels fan? No. What's this? <laughs> On the Para Eels Instagram page, he uh, KO Sports wrote a comment that says, "I want to blame the ref, but that's some horrible discipline from the team. Better wow. not to, better not lose this, or it's our season." And he <laughs> the little hand emoji. <laughs> wow. Okay. Get your exposed. shit together, guy from KO. Uh, but yeah, we all got a perfect round. Anything to say about the perfect round, boys? Um, it's 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 a double-edged sword because I'm ha- really happy to share this joyous moment with you guys. So thank you for being part of it. Um, also, nice solo party. Didn't happen. Group party's great. Solo party? What do you mean? Yeah, or oh, nothing like being the only one that gets the extra bonus. Like it's. Oh, 
yeah it's like icing it's, your balls on a summer day it's great it's it sucks i think i got a perfect round last year and like two other people got a perfect round the same same time so this is a fucking mm. bullshit it, it diminishes uh, the hurrah yeah it does do you guys want to do a segment, a weekly occurrence? Uh, I like to call the Tigers are a mess. Can Let's we? Go. Can we? <laughs> okay. Did you I see? Add um, something else. To... Yeah, you got something else to say? Go. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like getting back to what you said just previously. It's like when you say if you got siblings and you say to your parents, "Oh, which one of us do you love the most?" and they say, "Well, we love you equally." Well, I'm like, let's no, like let me know. Yeah, you know what that means when they tell you that they love you equally. It means you're number two. It means they love Tully more. Uh, the, tiger, <laughs> the Tigers are a mess. Did you guys uh, happen to catch Leap Haglapaliatis? Yeah. His, uh, pa- NRL 360 hang, hang Hangman Panganellis or whatever his name is. <laughs> Looking like fucking Otto Octavius in his little yeah, purple dude. suit and his little hat. He looks so good. <laughs> Oh, the PND's Facebook group was having a field day with that. That were terrific stuff. Um, yeah. Basically, just being like, nothing to see here. Terrific stuff. Tigers are a mess. That's all. Really, all I have to say on it. What about you? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, they're in a mess. They're, they're on track for their second uh, wooden spoon in a row. Like you thought, you may have happened at the start of the year, Mike. But, the fir- I mean, first team to get the wooden spoon and finish lower this the next year. I just love that stat. I love the idea of it, and I couldn't get my head past it. So yeah. I, lo- I looked at that table. I've looked at it three times. I do have the Tigers getting a spoon in that table, not uh, the Dragons. No, no. I remember. I actually I rewatched the video recently, and you said I feel like that might happen, but what I actually think is going to happen is the Dragons, mm. and that's what you said. All right. Well, the table says otherwise, but yeah. Sorry, go on. <laughs> um. But uh, yeah, they're they're in all sorts. Like talk of uh, Benji Marshall not getting along with the recruitment manager. Um, uh, who's the coach? I always forget his buddy name. The old fella. The old um, yeah. The, the, the have, old Lich. His, yeah, I have his Tim Sheens. Place. Tim Sheens. Yeah. Tim Sheens being left out of important meetings, Mal Meninga style. Um, talk of the CEO meeting with Justin Holbrook, former mm-hmm. Titans coach, uh, and who's actually a bit of a wanted man these days. I think the Bulldogs have met with him as well, Cowboys as well. So uh, yeah. I'm, I'm happy for Justin Holbrook that he's got no shortage of jobs, Ben. How, can they, how long can they keep flogging these secondhand cars over and over and over? Just, <laughs> just write the fucking thing off. <laughs> well, a few times, evidently. He'd be a good, like, assistant coach or, like, an attacking coach or something. Oh, I yeah. Guess. I, yeah, I, any club, I think, would take him as an assistant I think I think, I think he's a good coach. It's just you know. I think he's a qualified. He's an overqualified ball boy. Kind of like what um what Madge is doing now at the Raiders, which leads me into my next point. Um, the Canberra Raiders as an organization has given Ricky Stewart permission to coach State of Origin, as long as Madge McGuire is still there coaching during while he's gone. Uh, do you love this? Do you hate this? What do you think? Ben, do you have any thoughts on this? Yeah. As a Queenslander, um, do you fear just, Ricky just Stewart? about to get food. Really? Okay, oh, you go, you go I, ahead. Go I, get food. As the only one, no, no, no. As the only one that's personally shaken Ricky Stewart's hand. Um, <laughs> really? You know when you, sh- you know, yeah, you know when you shake How a man's hand. I was probably like 12, 11 or 12. Like just, yeah, I was still young. And you know when you shake. Uh, was he coming word. out of the bathroom or? No, no, no. He was, he was. You were in the bathroom. Game. There was no like penis related things is purely above board above gene yeah. line um yeah well hopefully i'll get it out this third time but when you shake a man's hand and it's soft and it's it, it, it's it, it, it's that kind of handshake the yeah it, i i think i remember it being a soft handshake um which well, you were is a boy. The, didn't the second yeah, it's a dream. Oh, he, he fondles me gently. <laughs> yeah. um, it that's the second worst type of handshake. The the next kind of handshake is the little man over aggressive handshake. That's the worst handshake. That's that's true. Do you think we'll ever get Ricky Stewart on the show and he'll admit that he knew you were a weak gutter dog back then and you're a weak <laughs> gutter dog now? That's why he gave you a soft handshake. I got a soft. <laughs> I, I got a soft spot for. Uh, for the old guy. I don't like him. Like, he can go fuck yeah. off. But, you How know, do you feel about him being New South Wales most... origin coach? 
No, oh, I'm I'm impartial. To, I don't I don't give two fucks about New South Wales. Like, all right, go get your food, Matthew. What do you think about this? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, getting getting a food during the show. Hang on. Yeah. 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 That's that's definitely worthy. Okay, what do I think about this news? If true, um, love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, it's all right. He's got I, passion. I, I know that there's been a bit of talk about Freddie maybe staying on uh, next year, maybe a change to the system, maybe change the assistant coach, get some more current NRL coaches in his coaching ranks. I love that idea as well. But the idea of Ricky Stewart coming into camp first day – Bonding night, getting on the beers with the players, fighting at least four of them, at <laughs> least four of them that night. Next yes. morning, kiss and make up, uh-huh. and they just and then you just get to work. Um, yep. He's he's probably fighting he's fighting journos, <laughs> he's probably yes. fighting some fans, <laughs> and that's only going to increase the just the base level testosterone of the entire group and make us play better. Who to be a real alpha? Who in the New South Wales team do you have to fight? Who are the top three that you have to fight? Uh, and I'm going to start. Uh, mm-hmm. Liam Martin is uh, in no in no real order. Uh, Liam Martin, you must fight. You yep. must fight uh, Payne Haas. And give me. You know what? Cody Walker likes a scrap. Let's go yep. Cody Walker. Yeah, those are <laughs> those are the three people that you'll want to fight because those are like the alpha dogs in the team. I feel like. Anything to add to that? Mm. I think what he does is he fights Teddy first just to say, listen, here's the captain. I fucking have fucked up the captain. Who's next? Give me a big boy. And then, yeah, yeah one of the big fellas. Liam Martin's a good one. You just you got to prove you belong by going up to, to Liam Martin. Mm-hmm. Um, geez, there were so many players that played in New South Wales this, or, this origin series that there's probably 34 players all up. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, I love the idea. If he comes in, could you imagine the press conferences? Yeah, <laughs> Teddy's just got like a red ring around his neck and a black eye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ricky Stewart. Oh, you meant like during the games. Oh, yeah. No, nah, I, I was picturing like just during training. Like oh, yeah. just beat the fuck During up. training, but even yeah, after the games as well, the, the, the post match press conferences would just be mm. go from Freddie, who's like generally um, calm, but with a little bit of passive aggressiveness, mm-hmm. to Ricky, who's just going to be unhinged. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I mean, I, I yeah, I kind of love it. You've talked me into it. I kind of love it. I was sort of indifferent. Yeah, it's good. Now I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Should we? I think that's all the news that I had. I um, Jota, I got ready in about five minutes. So yeah, Blues won. Um, we saw Ivan. Yep. We all saw Ivan Cleary in the coach's box. He's the real coach of New South Wales. I love that. Maybe Ricky and Ivan. Mm-hmm. Love that. Yeah. There's, uh, there's a reason why. There's a, there's a fight. Shows shows up in the box and and we win. Great game, by the way. First time we've spoken uh, yeah. on air about that. That was um that was a relieving game. Relieving. Yeah. Sad sad I didn't come down, but you know couldn't be fucked. And I don't understand that. Was it? Was it? Did it, give, did it really? Was that consolation what you needed for a big you know boy what? tuck in? No, not really. I I feel like the series was sort of already over. I mean, yeah, it's good. Uh, I did have Cody Walker anytime with Bradman Best and New South Wales 13 plus. So Cody kind Bradman of Best me on is that. my three to fight list. I've got um, I've got Best, Addo Carr, and Regan Campbell Gillard. By the way, do you think do you think Bradman has? I know the answer to this, but do you think Bradman has done enough to secure his spot in the team for the future? Mm, it just really depends if Latrell and Turbo are fit. Like I think I think drop Turbo. Hey. Maybe, maybe, because I mean, maybe. if if the tr- it really depends what's happening with Tedesco next year, right? So if Tedesco's playing, then we got problems. If he's not playing, then you know Latrella Turbo goes to fullback probably or drink water, um, and then you know you don't leave Latrell out. No, it really depends what Latrell's doing next year. Uh, I'd love to see him at fullback. I did do on zerotackle.com. They have like a little state of origin team maker where mm. you can select your team. And I was sort of after the third game, I was sort of trying to figure out what the team is for next year. And I had Latrell at fullback. Uh, mm. That's what I like. Because you know yeah, me, I hate Teddy. Also, Latrell, you know, he plays generally left side center in origin. And that's where Bradman played, left side. Right mm. side this, this year is either between Turbo or Stephen Crichton, who was also very good. 
Yeah. So yeah, tricky. Do you go with the young bulls or do you go with the? I guess they're not that old, Turbo and Latrell, but yeah. they've they've done it before. Tricky. I just feel like Turbo is made of glass and hasn't been good for two years. He, that guy's you know, always injured. Flashes. When's he? When does he play? Exactly. When does he play? Barely. Yeah. <laughs> he gets That's injured, the and then expensive. Damian Cook gets blamed for it. <laughs> He's the yeah. most expensive, like, like superstar that never like. If you're that yeah. good, mate, you don't injure yourself. I think I saw a stat recently, and I could be pulling this completely out of my ass, but over the last four years. Uh, Turbo has been injured like 64% of the time. Wow. Uh, that like that's yeah, that's too much. And so, do your own so research into that. But yeah, sounds accurate. Mm. Yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm I'm happy he doesn't play for my team. But I, yeah, yeah. There's um, there's actually one big piece of news I think we should talk about. Yeah, go. An elephant in the room. Um, you might think so. Um. The uh, it's it's round one of the NRLW this oh. weekend. Oh yeah, and they're not included. <laughs> I they? think they're included in the uh, NRL tipping at least at this stage. But the season's starting for the ladies, and uh, I feel like our Titans have a good team. It's Titans great. Good at least team. somebody, at least somebody NRL finally read my letters. Fuck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe got your faxes. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they they have the uh, the first game, the opening game against the Cowboys on the Saturday, as you mentioned before, Mike. Uh, doubleheader yeah. at Seabus, which sadly I'm missing. But um, I was looking over the Titans uh, team for round one today, mm-hmm. and we have five players with hyphenated names. Oh, that's incredible! Whoa. Five players, and which oh, we, we know, by the Destiny. way, Destiny. Um, no, you know sorry. what that means. That's that's five. Five players with indecisive parents that were like, oh, honey, let's just do both names. It'll be nice. Well, no, you know? I, I disagree. Campbell, I believe... Gillard, it sounds good. Ben, stop believe... interrupting him. I can see where he's going with this. I believe that a hyphenated <laughs> name is a direct correlation to on-field success. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we even have a player in the team with a double hyphenated name. Yeah, Two hyphenated hyphens. first and last name. Haley J. Ormond Monsell. Haley J. Ormond Monsell. <laughs> Coming off the yeah. bench. I mean, wow. th- Titans 13 plus. Is a yeah. Titans W 13 plus here. Yeah, I agree. Titans W do have a really good team. I'm excited how to, to see how they go this year. Uh, yeah, Fumi Mayano. Which one yeah. is Shaley Bent? Shaley Bent is, wow, she's 12. Wow, not 12 years old, but <laughs> 12 years where's old. a 12? She's smell for a number 12. Oh, she's quick, baby. Crazy. But, uh, we've got a lot of... Uh, uh, we got a lot of tipping to do in our oh, team. I, I think I think no between us and the the Roosters, I believe we've got a lot of international players who have played recently. So, yeah, fingers crossed. Should be good. Should be good. Let's see. Um, I'm looking at the W teams. I can't be doing that. We have got a lot of tipping to do. Yeah. Uh, first game we've got Thursday night. We are back to Thursday night games, boys. This wow, one back to normal might be the poo slinger of the year. We have got the Dragons taking on the West Tigers. <laughs> oh, that, oh, it feels dirty, dude. It's yeah, like putting your dick in a random glory hole. You just, oh, dude, the man. Tigers are paying two dollars twenty-four. I might even watch this just to, just for a laugh, just to see how long I can go for. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I honestly have no idea. Uh, Matt, help us out. This is a really tricky one. I, I this this <laughs> is the game. The whole, this. That I've been when I since you know 4 p.m. when the teams came out that I've been flipping a lot on what I think is going to happen because the Dragons they're at home at Wynn Stadium which they haven't been very good at so far this year they get Sloan Little and Jack Bird on the bench back from injury and they've been they've lost I think three in a row but they haven't been too bad they've been bad but not too bad if that makes sense yeah whereas the Tigers as we know they're in all sorts behind the scenes in the office. Also, uh, they haven't won a game since putting 66 points on the Cowboys back in round 12. Yeah. So they're under siege. Luke Brooks is still out. Dan Laurie comes back, pushes Will Smith out. I mean, Will Smith is still in reserves. What the fuck is the point of putting Dan Laurie in six, who is in talks to go back to the Panthers next year? Uh, he deserves better than whatever the fuck this is. So what? what is this? I think Will Smith plays. Shuffling, shuffling chairs. Personally. Shuffling chairs. 
Uh, let's have a look. I mean, like the thing about the Titans, it, Tigers, sorry, is other than when they lost to the Cowboys and the Storm and the Titans and yeah, like and the Rabbitohs in round eleven, like they haven't been too bad. You know, we've got mm. two really shit teams that actually haven't been that bad, which is why it's so difficult for me. They're trying. They're trying. Who do yeah. you got, though? T- gun to your head. Who are you I tipping? mean, like, I really want to tip the Tigers in this game because I feel like they're probably due a win. And they've got good players when you look through their forward pack, but Dragons have been arguably in better form lately. So I'll go with that. They're at home. Dragons by one point, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Ben, ben what do you got for this one? Mm, I forgot my follow-up comment, but tip only will be the Tigers on this game. I'll be... Um, <laughs> can we tip a draw? Tip a can, draw you, <laughs> can you <laughs> write to the NRL and tell them that we need to like have a little button in the middle so we can tip a draw here? Was, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. No, Are you going to take the... Um, pulled my favourite. Have you? Uh, are you taking the Tigers? Is that what you just said? I'm Tigers boy. Yep. All right. The Tigers boy. All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to follow Matt into the darkness here. I am going to take the Dragons only because they're at home, and only because Ben Hunt is playing. Yeah, Ben Hunt's going to play. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. If Appy is Appy playing. Yep. Oh, I don't know, man. Guys, this is. Let's not I'll waste tell you any why more time I'm, on it. I'll tell you why I'm tipping the Tigers yeah. because this is basically like what it's all bubbled down to for these boys, these both teams, is this pathetic situation. And Mm -hmm. this is the Tigers' grand final. I see this as the Tigers' grand final, and they're going to win it. And you know what? Go the Tigers. They're the the only team that I painted my face for this year. The loser of this team uh, gets the wooden spoon. The loser of this game, rather, gets the wooden spoon. 100%. Likely, likely, yeah. Either them or maybe the Roosters, I'm not sure. (laughs) <laughs> can the tigers win four games do you think no never mind <laughs> i'd like to do the maths on whether or not the roosters can do the, get the spoon all right next game your team yeah you do <laughs> the next <laughs> repeatedly uh... <laughs> incessantly in this episode uh, <laughs> the next game we've got the warriors at home warriors doing back-to-back home games is that right Warriors mm. at home versus the Canberra Raiders. Sean Johnson did us, Sean Johnson's second born did us all a favor and came, came flooding out into the world on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, it must have been. Love that. And so he's free to play this weekend. Thank you. Whatever your name is. What's the child's name, Matt? I'm going to guess uh, Destiny, Fate, River, uh, Mountain High. All yeah, hyphenated. That's good. Destiny, Fate, Mipper, Ripper, Mountain High. That's good. Can I just um, bring attention, sorry, just to our last, to that last game. Both of their last two meetings have been close games within the 20s. Just something to consider as well. Have they been unders? Have they been under 36 points? Uh, total? No. No. Okay. I would take the unders on this game if I was a betting man. You got, oh, yeah. You've got 18-16. Tigers was the last winner. And then 24-22. Um, but... This is a St. George game. I said the goal. Uh, I don't know how the fuck the Raiders are in fourth place right now, but they are. Uh, mm. When did that sneak up on us? When yeah. did that happen? I don't know. Uh, the Warriors are in fifth. Uh, if you had asked me 30 seconds ago who was higher on the ladder, I would have said the Warriors. Uh, I am going to take the Warriors for this one. I'm going to take them um, 1 to 12. 1 to 12. Benjamin, who have you got for this one? You're a pussy. Balls up, mate. Take a risk. I'm on the Warriors for this one. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're taking the Warriors. You should take a risk. Don't be a pussy. Yeah. Uh, don't be a risk. <laughs> don't be a pussy. Wise man once said. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I legitimately pussy. think this is helping. Um, Matt, that's good. I'm happy. Got? happy for you. Um, what has he got? I missed you. What did you get? What? What? What's that? What's that fluffy thing you picked up? Oh, never mind. Uh, Matt, who have you got for this one? Uh, yeah, another... Actually, there's a couple hard games to tip this weekend, I think. This is one of them. Both teams basically at full strength. These two teams are a fourth and fifth on the ladder, which is crazy to think that that would be the case at this point of the year. So it should yeah. be a good game. And I, the Raiders get Josh Papali'i back from his hamstring injury. Warriors get Nakora 
back, or Niokore, I should say. I'm going to go for the Warriors to win. They're at home. They just smashed Cronulla. And I got a feeling Sean Johnson is willing to da- winning a Dally M this year. Real? Oh, yeah. It's all behind closed doors. I'd love to have a look at that. What was he like before it went? He was in there, right? He was, yeah, he was there, thereabouts, but he's been, I think he's must have got the, the top points the last maybe three or four games they've played. Yeah, I'll yeah. go Warriors by 10 in this one. That's fair. Benjamin, who have you got for this one? Was Raiders. Why? Why, boy? Yeah, Warriors. Why? Why? Yeah, already. Did I? Already okay, asked? never mind. Oh, yeah, did say. Sorry, man. It's a, it's a lot show. A lot, a lot show. Hang on. Sean Johnson. Warriors. Hang on. Sorry. I thought I had time to do something. Never mind. Uh, next game, we have got the Rabbitohs at home. Trellions? Trellions, Matt? No, sunny low job receiving position. Sunny Coast Stadium. <laughs> he's on holiday. He's, he, yeah. he's getting the blowjob of life right now. What oh. month is it? July? Why do you get a July holiday? Since when did that work? He's going to Splendor. Going to Splendor. Oh, that's right. Splendor week. Getting, you told me at least four Dude, or five times. Ben, literally it. every single week you blast me for not taking time off to go just go to Vietnam on a whim. You're like, what are you doing? Why are you working so hard? Why do you answer the phone? Blah, 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 blah. And then I get a holiday and you're like, why are you on holiday? You don't deserve this. I, I, it, I, did, I didn't say you didn't deserve it. I think I think it was your time. You... It was your time. Uh, Mike, can you mediate this? Oh no, sorry. I was um I was checked out. It was uh, Sean Johnson's son was born. Uh, mm. Sachi James Johnson. Sachi James. Sachi S A. Not too late for a rename. C H I. Sachi. Not too late Suchi for James. a rename. No, no hyphen. Not a shit baby name. Don't um, forget to. <laughs> We can oh, Rabbitohs in Rabbitohs in eighth place. That I thought they would have been higher than that. I guess mm. they had a they've had a rough go of it with their, all their origin stars out, but all their origin stars are back. Am I wrong? Yes. Look at that list. Also, list the of ins and chunk. Yeah, I think um, Reese Walsh is back. I guess and Payne Haas is back. Mm-hmm. Carrigan. Uh, Carrigan. Deloise. That's a woman's name. Who's Deloise Hoiter? Deloise Hoiter. <laughs> Yeah, he's a winger, winger is center. She, is she actually playing? Or is yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, 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 in... she's just in the reserves. She's in the reserves. <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, this one's a hard one to tip. What have you got for this one, Matthew? Yeah, another tough one. Uh, this is basically a home game for the Broncos. The game's on the sunny coast. And mm-hmm. as we know, Haas, Carrigan, Walsh back. The troops back for the Rabbitohs as well. Graham and Arrow, all the Origin players. I think it's going to be a, a really good game. Yeah. I think... Friday's looking good. It's it's hard not to go off the ladder tipping this game. The Broncos have been in very good form the whole year, and they get these, these boys back. So I'll say they win by six, but not not with a lot of faith. You reckon the Broncos are winning this one? I think the Broncos win, but someone about Latrell back, and we know Latrell, he loves to play well on his first game back, just to remind everyone that the Ferrari is taking the field. That's all. Benjamin, you hate both of these teams. I hate both of these teams with a passion. Um, They're my two first hated teams. If there's ever a a team bus that you want to uh, drive off a cliff it's both of them you want um, two buses was... to crash into collide yes. yeah <laughs> you want them to collide <laughs> you want them to go off separate cliffs but they meet in the valley in the middle yeah just with all that or like really, really close and then they hit each other when they're in air and then mm. yeah um and then yeah you want anyway i was going to take that really dark but we'll leave it there Ooh. i have had the rabbitos highlighted uh for the last couple of days and i have switched to the broncos because i don't know why um but i'm just swimming back to the rabbitos because i trust my gut on this one rabbitos in a cum draining nail biting extravaganza mm. i agree Yes, Friday night is looking very good for football. Get it off. Get it off with your partners Maybe if you old, have any. Uh, theme song. Friday night's a great night for football. Oh, you're too young for that. <laughs> um, I am going to take the Rabbitohs on this one, only because a wise man once said, tip the team you think is going to win. 
And mm. I think this is the time where the Broncos start to fall apart. I thought of an exception to that. I, I Last night, I was pondering that exact expression, and yep. there is an asterisk. And okay. hear me out. When you're following and you've got all the games correct and it's come down to the last game and a perfect week is on the line, go with the favourite. Okay. Sounds, on the last one, fair. if a perfect week is on the line and you risk other people getting a perfect week, you got to tip the favourite. There's no emotions in that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did I do everybody? Everybody, you two are on the Broncos. No, Ben and I are on the Rabbitohs. You're on the Broncos. Correct. All right. Next game. Game of the round. Game uh, of the round. Almost a poo slinger. You could call it a poo slinger. Someone who wasn't a fan of either teams could probably call this a poo slinger. Uh, we have got Tino is out. Tino, in one of the biggest oh. cuck moves of his career, uh, accepts the charge. Accepts his the arm charge. was his arm was in there. Like he wouldn't. He didn't shoulder what? charge. It was around. What are you talking about? You mean not when he, not when he elbowed Moses? Uh, I don't know who it was. He definitely it, shoulder charged someone. Shoulder but... charge RCG, who's also yeah. banned. Yeah. Yeah, and two wrongs was... don't make a right. If he would, if RCG had already gotten banned before that, like if his infraction had happened before Tino made his infraction, Tino's infraction should be wiped. Mm, I agree. What do you think about that? Two wrongs should make a right in rugby league. I agree. I definitely thought he was going to fight it. Um, cuck moves. Because what's the difference between three or four weeks? Like, it's. They, they. I reckon they were. They were probably told that there's no way you can win. I reckon they said there's absolutely no way we can defend this. That's probably the case. It's what you could say about the Titans' season right now. There's absolutely no way they can win. And without fighting that charge, then yeah, probably Mm. not a way they can win. Uh, In saying that, are we taking the Titans this weekend, Matt? Ben, let Ben go first. Ben, you go first. Do it, do it, do it. Ben, do it. Um, in this at home. sling classic, the Roosters by one point. Oh, yeah, that would be right. What is this bench doing? <laughs> Jaden Campbell, Chris Randall, a full a fullback, a hooker. Joe Stimson is an edge back rower and a middle forward who's an amateur in Jason Alec. Can we get another forward here, please? Mm, we're a bit um, down on troops, I think. We're a little down on troops. Yeah, Where are our forwards? Okay. It's okay. Where's it's Keenan okay. Palacia? Can we get uh, him early? Yeah, he hasn't come down yet, I don't think. Uh, we, we have Jamie Jolliffe. Jolliffe's injured still. Don't know what's happening with Baby Horse. Palacia's not even in the 1 to 22, is he? Of the, of the Broncos. He's not even in the team this week. Why the fuck is he? <laughs> I need to join the Titans coaching staff. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, <laughs> Matt. That, that's, that's a recipe for stomach ulcers, man. You don't want to be yeah. there. That's all right. I'd be stoned most of the time. <laughs> well, Matthew, do you want me to go ball. first? Can you not ball? Yeah, you go, Mike. I am going to take the Titans here by four points, I think. I think Tino being out galvanizes them. I think Teddy is an old man who... I. I think he's going to love the heat of the Gold Coast. It'll be a great place for him to retire to. He's going to we love can't. retirement. We've yeah. already got an old man. We've already got an old man in our team, and get out of here. Get out of here with your old man, old players. Get out of here. So I'm going to take the time. You're older than Teddy mm-hmm. by one year. Brendan Smith on the bench. Wow. Sam yeah. Burrell's revenge game. That's what I'm seeing here. Sam okay. Burrell's revenge game. I love it. I love it. I love that. I love that. Uh, also, Brimson back from after being rested last week. So, you know... That's good. Right. But yeah, exactly. for, the, for the Roosters, Tedesco, he got rested last week. Uh, reports he was in Bali, um, had a nice little holiday, so good for him. So Mani goes back to center, so he goes to the wing. As you said, she's coming off the bench, which might be a better move. Let Turpin take the sting out of the How game. How does that look? Early. How does that look for the rest of the boys? Oh, I'm just, I'm just going to Bali. He's had a busy year. He's been, you know, he's been busy losing state of origins single-handedly yeah you're right you know what that says to me last week when they let teddy go on the holiday they've written off the season and it's clear they can't make it now it's obvious the writing has been on the wall for many weeks now it's officially concreted and i don't know it's just Mm. to me to me it's it doesn't show class and i'm all about class classy guy yeah episode title all about class 
I don't hate it. I mean, I, I, I've actually all, also got written down here, you can't be fully symmetrical. You said it right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's funny. So, it's a funny sentence out of context. Um, definitely penis related. Yeah. Sorry, but uh, in, in regards to this game, sorry, uh, Tedesco coming back, rested from trip to Bali, makes me nervous. And the Roosters have actually won nine games in a row against the Gold Coast Titans. So I am tipping the Roosters to win by eight points. I'm sorry. <sighs> That's but the, ruin. but our, our women are going to win 13 plus. So it's all good. Yeah. Okay. I don't like that. I don't like that for you. I don't like that for anybody. Uh, next game we have got, I'm guaranteed. Well, I might watch this game after this. I don't know. Um, I was going to say I'm guaranteed not to watch this game. I don't care about either of these teams. We've got the Newcastle Knights mm. against the Melbourne Storm. Uh, Newcastle Knights, I think they're on a bit of a tear at the moment, aren't they? Where's the draw? I've got it up here. Yeah, Newcastle Knights won last week. I'm sure of it. Did they? They did. I'm sure of it. Yeah, against the West Tigers. So, yeah, doesn't mean anything. I'm going to take the Storm here. <laughs> the Storm obliterated the Roosters last week. Is that what happened? Yes. It's 13 plus, plus, I think. They plucked some feathers, that's for sure. Yeah. I am going to take the Storm here. This is not a difficult one. Matt, you can go. Yeah, I mean, you got to tip the storm here. They've actually, I checked the stats today, they've won 11 games in a row against Newcastle, which is not fully incredibly surprising because they are a storm, but I see that continuing. They're on track for a top four finish, despite the beliefs of other members of this podcast that they'd missed the eight. Mm -hmm. I say they win by, <laughs> oh, they win by 12 in this one. I say the Newcastle mm -hmm. Lions put up a bit of a fight at home. They could still... Oh, no, they're in third. Um, <laughs> next game, we've got the Cowboys versus the Eels. Ooh, should be a close one here. Oh. oh. It really sort of depends on what Jeff is doing this week. Uh, if Jeff, <laughs> takes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If Jeff, Jeff takes the Cowboys, I'm on the Eels. Uh, Cowboys at home, I think he's going to take the Eels. I'm going to, so <laughs> thusly, we I'm going to take shame. the Cowboys. Uh, who's in? Not really anyone for either team that Waka Blake is back. Waka Waka. But he's not starting. It doesn't look like so. Yeah. I'm going to take the Cowboys for this one. Cowboys, um, I was listening to a podcast uh, two weeks ago. The Cowboys were paying $15 to make the eight. Uh, doesn't, mm. seem like, doesn't seem like bad money right now. Yeah. Uh, they're probably going to do it. Uh, so I am going to take the Cowboys over the Eels, who uh, shouldn't have won. Last week it was fucking bullshit. Benjamin, who have you got for this one? Doisman. Doisman. Man, man's a Doisman. Um, Matt, uh, sorry to throw you under the bus here. We had a perfect opportunity um, to spend Jeff's um, prize money from last year at the uh, football game. Uh, you conveniently did not bring up the topic, which is why I'm bringing it up now. Um, does that not get automatically shifted now to the winner of this year's competition? You guy. what? You were at that game too. You yeah, forgot. You, were there. you should have brought it up. You should have brought it up. I wasn't I thinking about it. No, I should have. Okay, next time. Listen, um, I you need to understand that I don't, my brain doesn't work like you. I constantly don't have this one hundred dollars on my mind <laughs> at all times, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> well, maybe you need to invest in some post-it notes, brother. And it's do you, not even do you your think about money. it once? A... It's someone else's money to be shared between the three of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you think about it like once a day, Ben? Do you think like that, hunt, like all the money that everyone owes it's not, you? It's not about it, you don't understand, which is the biggest problem of all. It's not about the hundred dollars. It's about there's a there, there's there's a man out there sitting sitting in his sitting in his room watching this, being like, oh, I gave a hundred dollars out of my heart and. I should have it seen how I intend to be fat. That's all. Okay, moving on. Okay, well, I'm just, I'll just transfer it back to Jeff. Yeah, just transfer it back to Jeff. I'm just going to transfer it back to Jeff and just be <laughs> done with this. Yeah, do it. Do that's not, fine. No, that's that's the least of a victory for me. That's, yeah. I feel like I'm fighting a fight. <laughs> I'm fighting somebody else's fight. <laughs> you don't have to lean down and talk into the microphone. We no, can hear I, you just I, fine I when you're love upright. It. I actually love it. I actually love it. I think it's good for the... Uh, for the story it's endearing yeah i, li I like i like this no i like yeah. that yeah. yeah feels like it needs to come in here every time yeah yeah 
Oh, Mike, you have the um the clearest mic of all of us, by the way. Yeah. And um and it's the cheapest, surprisingly enough. Is it? Yeah. Well, you spent how much you spent on that? Two hundred and fifty bucks. Okay, now it's more that's, expensive. That's the most expensive microphone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I remember because I was using this. I've told this story before. I was using this headset while playing video games one day, and no one could hear me, and I was just got so fucking frustrated. So I just went down to JB Hi-Fi. I was like, that one got the full kit. Got it, brought it in. Two years, haven't had a problem. It's so good. It saved your marriage. It's so good. It has. Uh, everybody's on the doys here. Matthew, doys? Yeah, I'm also on the Cowboys. The Eels, we know they've they've lost RCG for four games for dropping the knee on, on Chris Randall. Don't Oof. move. Um, Mike Acevo is named, but I believe he is going to the judiciary to fight his high tackle charge. The Eels can definitely win this game. We know that they like playing top sides, but the Cowboys are at home. They're in form. I say they win by eight points. Eels find always a way to fall on their own sword. This is one of them. This is it. Do you think they'll make the eight? Yeah, they will. Uh, They'll they'll be out in the They're in seven. Yeah, they might sneak in, but uh, Cowboys are, they're charging. Depends on what the Sharks are doing, really. Yeah. Yeah. Sharks sucks I couldn't segue into the Sharks game, but you know what? I feel bad for Dogs fans this weekend. Uh, Panthers arrested all their <laughs> arrested all of their fucking oh. origin players, and we've got fucking Nathan Klez. Klez is coming back. Klez's this back. is going to be a stomping. Get us a price. What's the, what's the current price on this, boys? The twelve dollars fifty. The Dogs are paying twelve dollars fifty. Wow. House on the dog. House on the. If dog. it was the Tigers, I might do it. Maybe if to- Toby Sexton was playing, maybe, but I don't. Mm. Yeah, he's not in here. He got head hide. Yeah. How do you Brilliant. go into that? Like, do, do you do you go into that match as the dogs, being like, let's give it everything we got and see if we can win, just out of our own self pride, or do you like, all right, boys, we got it. We're gonna get. We walk in into a fucking minefield. Just walk delicately. Let them through. No one get injured. No one get suspended. No, do some dumb shit. Let them get eighty four. And yeah. we'll, we'll survive this. We will survive this together. They, put their, yeah. they all put their hands in the middle and go, don't get the spoon. And then they <laughs> go right uh, Yeah, no. Nah, I'm not even going to ask you take the pussy approach. We're all on the Panthers. I dare you to take the dogs. I dare anyone in our comp to take the dogs. I'm on the dogs. Go the yeah. dogs. All I've, all I've got written here is just in all caps is lol Panthers win. How much yeah. do they win by? That's the question. I'll say 30. 30? There will be an upset this week. There is guaranteed an upset. When is yeah, there ever Titans. been two weeks in a row? No. When has there been two weeks in a row where all the favourites win? Never. Mm-hmm. There will be Just last upset. week. But there are less upsets this time of year. Keep Actually, I think the Waz were the underdogs last week. Hey. I feel like Sharks were favourites last week. I can't Not remember. Sure. It was close. It was close odds. It was close. Final game of the round, we have got the aforementioned Sharks versus the Manly Sea Eagles. A Manly oh, yeah. a shot here. Manly sitting in 11th, yes, yeah, sort of. I feel like Manly could probably do this. My little button is going to be on the Sharks, but it wouldn't surprise me if DCE get the troops rallied. Let me just quickly double check that DCE is playing. Yes, he is. Uh, wouldn't shock me that he gets the troops rallied and they have a famous win here. It is probably at Shark Park, right? Points mm-hmm. bet. Points bet. So, yeah, if it was a Brookie, maybe. Um, Manly didn't look too bad last week at the start of the game. Uh, yeah, but I am going to take the Sharks here. Um, who's next? Who wants it? First hit up. Who's taking it? Not me. I'll take All it. All right, Matt. I'll take it. So for the Cronulla Sharks who are at home, they've actually made quite a few changes after getting spanked by the eventual 2023 Premiers, the New Zealand Warriors, I might say. Um, Teague Wilton's out with a knee injury. Fanukin's back from suspension. McInnes goes back to the bench. Moylan looks like he's been dropped. As far as I can see, I don't think he's injured. That's unfair. So Trindle's coming coming in at 5'8". Tracy's going to center. Talakai's been benched. So coach not happy with how mm-hmm. they're playing. Whereas for Manly, Matt Lodge, he's been named on the bench after his mid-year move from the Chooks. And they got Kepi on the bench as well. I think that um, that we we once knew that we could accurately predict Sharks games based on the weather. I feel like that is now the second most reliable rule. The new rule is Mm -hmm. Cronulla lose to top eight teams and they beat bottom eight teams. So Manly, bottom eight, Sharks win by 12. Yeah, I think that's fair. Benjamin, what do you got? 
Mm. I'm just going to Matt Lodge a complaint here. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I uh, don't find any reason to go against the, the grain here. I'm going to go for a safe little sharks tip to tie out the weekend. Sunday will be a boring a boring day. Do something with your family on Sunday. All right, shall we get yeah. to some comments? Comments. Comments. I don't, I don't think you're mentioned. Oh, wait, you. Yeah, you are. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Rugby League History, oh, history writes. Let me see if I can edit this down. Um, he'll say something bad about Matt and Mike. Uh, they support the Gold Coast, which drags them down in my estimation a bit. But I will also say they are better people than some others who go for the Gold Coast, like Clarkie's mm. NRL column. Clarkie's fine. We just had a baby today. Um, I think he, he's got beef. Rugby League History's got beef. <laughs> shout out to Clarkie. Just, just stab into somebody. Uh, myself personally, it's Rugby League History. A lot of other contact readers out there dislike, dislike or hate me. Not us. Uh, whether that be jealousy or the fact that they don't like people they perceive to be know-it-alls. I hate know-it-alls. I don't know. Actually. I don't know. We're, we're new to this scene, Rugby League History. If you want to dish some dirt on on what's going on in the Rugby League podcast tipping yeah. world, um, let's dig it up. Let's do like a current affairs segment on what's going on. <laughs> Nick from Australia's slanderous video didn't help him either. Uh, I didn't see the video. But I like I do that guy. Know, he's a good guy. I do know who Nick from Australia is, and he's an absolute dead shit of a man. Ben is telling you. Hey, he's a good like, guy. If Ben's guy. saying he's a good guy. Then, Don't yeah, throw him know, under the bus. Shit. Don't throw him. I, I, I'm a fan. I was. I was always an early adopter on the. Uh, the only NFS. Nick from the only Nick NFA. from Australia video I've seen is the one where he confronted BKR Sport at Magic Round, and it's like a block down from across the street, and he's being like, "Oi, oi." And that's it. And like Blaze just you looks around like slightly this guy? and it's like confronting BKR Sport. Yeah. What a I fucking... like this guy because he keeps it real. He, what a he wet he noodle. I like I like you, mate. You keep it real. We understand each other. I get you. <laughs> I think in the in the world of NRL amateur YouTubers, um, I'm on the side of rugby league history. I feel like rugby league history is <laughs> my tag team rugby. partner. Um, when we do the WWE, when we do fight night. Um, I feel yeah. like I'm with rugby league I'll history. Ref, I'll wrap it as a category, dude. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, and you've I'm written, cool. and you've written here that you've never heard of Nick from Australia, um, etc. And then rugby league history wrote it was taken down by YouTube for violating the violating the guidelines. Mike knows the full story. Uh, you also know the full story, Matt. But we were blasted when I was telling you. Uh, it was at your birthday. I was showing you, and we oh, were just really? absolutely wrecked. Yeah, no, I, I was fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, here's a little controversial comment. Um, Jeff writes, I never commented last week about oh. rugby league history or Matt's premi problem. Ben got my phone and went on as me. What? Yeah. Hey. He's saying that he's, I think he's sounding, it sounds like he's accusing you of fraud and Hacking. thievery. You Hacking. hacked your own father. You hacked him. And you put comments in there, and then you proceeded to complain about said comments wow. and throw a little tanty. Did you One hack second. yourself to get attention earlier this season? Can't believe you. Can't believe I, that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna request an IP track on this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it. Yeah. Well, the IP track won't help, but it wasn't me. I raised I my hand. You. It was not me. Yep. I don't believe you. Uh, history of football. I swear rights. before you, God. <laughs> I'm not God. I'm just very good at tipping, Ben. Uh, (laughs) uh, History of Football writes, just the tip has cracking thumbnails. I appreciate that. Thank you. I I put a lot of work into that. I agree. The thumbnail game is off the fucking chain this week. I love it. Oh, you, I was going to say, like, okay, let's let's show each other our thumbnails, and I realize uh, what you're talking about. <laughs> I dare you to put Nick from Australia in our thumbnail this week. Okay. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Bring the heat, Do Nick. It, <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Do we do the hypothetical first, or we do, like, the recap? What do we do first? I can't remember. Reca- recap first. Let's right, bring in are... the recap. Uh, Ben's on the Tigers, we are on the Dragons, Matt. Uh, we are all on the Waz. Uh, you are on the Broncos, Matthew. Matt, ben and I are on the Rabbitohs. I'm on the Titans. You two are on the Chookies. 
uh, we are all on the Storm. We are all on the Doys. We are all on the Panthers, and we are all on the Swimmy Sharky Boys. Correct. Can I make a suggestion for the future when you do recaps? Can you say the opponent? Because when you say it so fast, I'm like, oh, who are they playing? Who are they playing? Who are they playing? No, I know. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at it. It's in front of me. Just... Okay. I'll, I'll note that down. Yeah, you I'll... could be like, yep, to beat the best. Okay. Noted. Uh, let's... Yeah, we're starting next. to lose you, Ben. Let's starting do... To lose you. Yeah. Let, let's... You're losing me? You're here? Am I here? Yeah. Do. Let's, let's do the let's do hypothetical for the week. Uh, let's do Benny's wanna... segment for the hypothetical. Benny's segment? Yeah, no, this yeah. is instead of. <laughs> thing is it, this no that we're doing both this is um do you have a hypothetical this, matt no this is in honor of just the, up on the um, spot. Okay. try july what do we call it we call it try july celebrations bringing the mic closer to is not going to stop me from interrupting you <laughs> don't interrupt me um okay you're coming up with a try celebration it's completely unique it's completely your own how do you shock the crowd do you want me to go first? Guys... I've got I've got two. I've been thinking about it okay. all week, and okay. my ideas okay. aren't that very good, uh, but I do have two. Um, and the first one is the realistic one that you could probably get away with, mm-hmm. um, and the second one's for you, Ben. So my first one is um, you get the try, you get up, crack a beer, hold it at arm's length, uh, crush it, throw it to the crowd. The, oh, the old smash a beer. Um, my yeah, second old, one... Um... The old who, who's that wrestler? Stone Cold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could crack yeah. a beer and do these ones. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's da, da, good. Da, da, you could da, da. probably look like you're sucking a dick. That's why I think you've got to extend your <laughs> arm and do it. Um, my second one is when you try, you get up, you grab the ball. Um, I call this the hopawade. Uh, you grab the ball <laughs> and you you finger it and you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like that and one. then show it oh to your God. teammates and everybody oh, yes! Like that yes that's even better than mine <laughs> so good yeah. oh my God. That, that one is so good thank oh. you thank you how do we you can't write this shit <laughs> <laughs> it's, so it's good. good it pays um homage to rugby league history shout out uh and, it, and it's just great it's dirty it's filthy it's rugby league matt what's your it's one? filthy um Good question. I mean, that's that was a really good one you had just now, Mike. I mean, is, are, we, are we still got Ben? Yeah, we still got Ben. He's around. Okay, I think I think mine would be something. I'll be something like this. So I think, and again, you know, I read I to score this try, I need to get a bit of a run up and slide. Okay, and this is someone you could realistically do, and you need to know where the camera is as well. So you scope it up beforehand, coming up slide in for a try and as you slide in for the try you just move on your side and you're just like this yeah. and you imagine you're just sliding yes. a couple meters just like this yes. and like <laughs> directly into the, of the camera and imagine they zoom into your face and you go like <laughs> <laughs> the cell one combo yeah. <laughs> you do that, you do that, and you drop the ball. Oh man, people celebrating too early is the best compilations. Yeah, dude, I love Try July. <laughs> uh, ben, what was your one? Oh, what was mine? Um, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> I've saw I saw a lot of people doing things um with with the the foam post, the corner mm-hmm. posts, mm-hmm. and um I've seen the didgeridoo, I've seen the the golf club, I've seen a few different versions of this my idea is to pick it up right walk up to the white line and pretend to do a massive line <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do the, then hand it to Kalen Ponga who's on the yeah, opposite yeah. team you know <laughs> no not not the horizontal lines but they're these like the small line the vertical lines the small ones yeah that they no do it run across like <laughs> the dead ball line and do it <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you, you know how uh, you know how players sometimes they wear tape and they write messages on their tape of support so yeah. do that try celebrations you snort the line and then you show to the camera your wrist and just says free kale and ponga on it <laughs> <laughs> FKP like on the underside. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you you would get into trouble for that. I feel like. Yes, you would. <laughs> you, on your head. you don't think you'll get in trouble for having your teammates sniff poo off your fingers? <laughs> That's from, no, I don't know. from That's what less would be um, and um, it'd be an imaginary baby. What what humans mm-hmm. the size of a ball? <laughs> yeah, no. You've just bought. 
Anyway. <laughs> anyway. We're gonna, we're gonna anyway, before we get cancelled, safe for children this episode. <laughs> uh, thumbnail? Thumbnail time? Let's do a thummy. Let's do a little thummy. Um, what's what's the... You love going sideways and putting something into your mouth, Ben. Yeah, no, I love you it. You love it. That's your favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay, know. I got another one. I'll do, I'll do this one. Good stuff. I'll do. Take us out, Ben. I've been Mike. Well, no, I'm not Mike. I've been, just the been Matt. And thank I you for joining us, ben. Just. Thank you for joining us, The. And as the always, o thank you, Tip. Fuck yourselves. Gamble responsibly. Only use your tip. And playing that's, a little that's game. Let's finish our scene. No, just a tip. The girl said no when I said, I said just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, everybody. Bye.